Food and supply still remain scarce for many people in Haiti. That's why every donation, no matter how small, still matters. As News 3's Anita Roman reports, two different groups here in the valley came together today to help fill some of those needs. The three Haitian churches in the valley have spent the better part of the last two weeks working closely with countless organizations, nonprofits, and businesses here in Las Vegas to raise money, food, and supplies for the victims of that earthquake in Haiti. But this time around, one valley businessman decided to donate something the churches couldn't raise on their own. Have one right over there. This could possibly be the most important shipment Todd Korn has made in quite a while. I have a trade show exhibit company in town and we do a lot of transportation. And so I'm donating some truck drivers, a truck. Corn caught word that the three Haitian churches in town, with help from the First Baptist Church on Arville and Oki, raised pallets of water, food, and other supplies for the victims of the devastating earthquake that struck Haiti. He also heard that organizer Ben Desinor had no way to get the items from Las Vegas to Miami, where they would be shipped to Port-au-Prince. And But the biggest problem we had is to ship them out. So this company came out, you know, freely shipping everything for us. So it's a huge blessing for us and the Haitian people. Today what we're doing is we're loading the first of two, hopefully two, if not three loads. Not only did Corn donate his trucks, he recruited friends and other Valley businesses to donate their time, equipment, and money to help get the provisions to the various charities in Haiti. He knew it was the least he could do when he heard the Haitian church's call for help. And it immediately struck a chord with me that that's something I could get involved in. A second truck, also donated, will remain in front of the First Baptist Church for the next few days, collecting food and other supplies until the drivers return from Miami. And at that point, they hope to have enough to make a second trip. Anita Roman, News 3. That second truck is only half full, and Corin says he hopes more donations come in while his crew is in Miami.